Mrs. Coleslaw, I never knew you were a dancer. Of course. Here I am doing the cha-cha on the blunder blimp. Oh, and that's me boogie oogie oogieing with Jean Smelly. Oh, here I am with my old dance crew, the East Side Llamas. Pow, pow, meow, Mrs. Coleslaw. You can really shake a tail feather. You must mean my lucky dancing feather. I never dance without it. Okay, Mrs. Coleslaw, before we design your dancing shoes, we'll need to see your dancing moves. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> First, I slide all the way across the floor. <laughs> oh, well, you get the idea. I think I see the problem. Whenever two things rub against each other, like shoes rubbing on the floor, it causes friction. Friction slows you down. The less friction your shoes have, the more they slip and slide. So to make your new shoes slippy, we'll need a low friction material. Clark, give me something slippy. Soap suds. Too bubbly. Floor wax. Too squeaky. A banana peel. Perfect. Banana peel dancing shoes, extra slippy, coming right up. But Chico, I also need to run all the way up the wall. <gasps> ah, in that case, you need shoes with more friction. More friction means it's harder for them to slide, so they'll be grippy. And I've got just the material. A spare tire from Tool Force One. The treads are high friction, which make them extra grippy. Perfect! Rubber tire dancing shoes, extra grippy. But then they won't be slippy. That's right, they'll be grippy. But I need shoes that are slippy and grippy. This dance is called the Slippy Grippy Shuffle. Slippy and grippy? But how can you? They're, they're, they're both flippy grippy. Better take a banana break. Okay, if the shoes are too slippy, they won't be grippy. But if they're too grippy, they won't be slippy. And then Mrs. Coleslaw won't get to dance for Flippy. <gasps> Flippy! He can go from grippy to slippy with one simple Flippy. Blazing bananas, that's it! Mrs. Coleslaw, your shoes need to be slippy, grippy, and flippy. Yay! Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Check it out. Time for a new plan? Yep. We need to figure out some other way to get back home. Or else we could be stuck out here for a long time. Hmm. <gasps> pow, pow, meow! We need to build a vehicle. I don't like that idea, Rainbow. You love it? I love it! What were you thinking? A rocket? A land speeder? A glitter-powered dune buggy? Mm, I was thinking something a little simpler. Like a bicycle made from a tree. <laughs> a bicycle! This bike's a beaut, Rainbow. Fix it for us. Time to put these pedals to the metal. All aboard! Yep. Uh-huh. Here we go! Go, Chico, go! Don't stop now! Get pedal much longer! Wheels stuck in sand! Here, Chico! Eat a peanut for energy! Thanks, buddy! <laughs> Wheels don't work too well on this sand. We'll need to find another way to get home. Oh, but Chico, we're tired. And hot. And hungry. <laughs> and that burpy bird keeps stealing our peanuts. Ugh, and his burps smell like old peanut butter. Don't worry, team. We're not giving up yet. Hmm. <laughs> huh. Maybe we don't need wheels. Ladies and gentlemen, people of the desert, I give you the Chico Bon Bon Wonder Wings. Yay! 
They're sleek, they're stylish, and if they work the way I think they will, we can use them to fly all the way home to Blunderburg. Rainbow, show the people how they work. With pleasure, Chico. Here she goes. Pow, pow. <laughs> She's flying, she's flying, she's... <laughs> Not flying. I was flapping as hard as I could. It's okay, Rainbow. Birds are built for flapping, but stunt kitties just aren't. Neil Ostrich here with some breaking news. Another of the Fix-It Force's plans has just failed. Luckily, just when it looks like they'll never see their home again, Chico Bon, bon is about to hatch his most brilliant plan ever. I am? Oh, what is it? Don't ask me. I'm still just a moron. And if you like this sparkly baby, you'll love this red ruby beauty. And you My eggs have been poached. Whoops. No sign of Bernie. It's time to use some tech. Clark? On it. Check with the doggy detector. He is down here. Uh, around the corner. Uh, he's in there! A doggy day spa? There you oh, are. Oh, you had us worried, Bernie. <laughs> Guess he wanted a doggy massage. <laughs> what is the matter with this leash? Maybe the leash's material is too slippery? A and that's why Bernie can wiggle out of it? Try a different material. Great idea. I have some non-slip string in here somewhere. Here it is. Okay, Bernie, let's try this. We lost him again. He took my skateboard? Now it's personal. And you'll be green with envy. <laughs> Whoa! There you are, Bernie. And there you are, skateboard. I'm never letting you out of my sight again. Guess Bernie really likes music. Especially smooth jazz. Hmm, how do we redesign this leash so we can't escape? Nothing's worked so far. Don't worry, Chico. We have lots of time to figure this out. It's not like Elkin is coming back for Bernie right now. Chico Bon Bon, monkey with a dog leash. Chico, it's Elkin. I'm coming back for Bernie right now. <gasps> See you at the treehouse. This is serious, team. We're out of time, and we haven't solved how to keep Bernie on his leash. And Elkin is going to beat us back to our treehouse, and... <sighs> Good idea, Tiny. Ow. Okay. First, Bernie wiggled out because he was thirsty. Then he wiggled out to get a massage. And then he wiggled out to listen to some smooth jazz. Hmm. Maybe he wouldn't want to wiggle out of his leash if it did all the stuff he likes, the way our new couch does. <gasps> Amazing bananas, that's it! What Bernie needs isn't a longer, less slippery leash. He needs a multifunctional leash. A leash that can do many things? Pow, pow, yow! I get it. Just like our multifunctional couch could do all the things we needed, we'll make a leash that can do all the things Bernie needs. And we'll make it as cute as you are. Exactly. Fix it, Force. Let's get to work. Activated multifunctional leash. Uh, oh, Chico, I don't see how we're ever gonna get out of here. Actually, I don't see anything at all. Clark, that's it! It is? These plungers will make a pretty sweet pair of suction cups. Stand back and watch a monkey work. <laughs> Almost there! Oh no, feathers, tickling nose! Bus, not sneeze. All right, Junk Hole, you win this round, but we're just getting started. Fix it, Force! We're gonna build our very own Junkapult! Uh... It's a catapult made out of junk. Oh, yeah! A catapult! 
catapult is a device that can launch something far distances through the air. It's Junkapult time! Ta-da! Ooh! But will the Junkapult give us enough energy to launch out of here? Only one way to find out. All right, Toaster, time to get you back to Mrs. Coleslaw. Everybody ready? Ready! Smell you later, Junk Hole. We're gonna make it! We're gonna make it! We're... Not gonna make it! Ah! Ah! Oh, peanuts. I guess we're gonna be stuck in this hole forever. Oh, there's gotta be some way out of here. Uh, we could, uh... What, what, what if we, uh... Take banana break? Yes! Ow. Okay, nothing's working. We just keep falling back onto that old springy mattress. Mrs. Coleslaw won't get her spring-loaded turbo toaster back, and we'll never play super springy pinball again. Wait a minute. Blazing bananas, that's it! Mrs. Coleslaw's toaster has super springy springs inside. They can give us the energy to pinball our way out. We'll use the sides of the junk hole like a real pinball machine. If we put ropes under those two plungers, we could use them like pinball flippers. And we can use the energy from the springs in the toaster for a launcher. But who are we gonna launch? According to my calculations, Clark, Chico, and I are all too heavy. We need someone smaller, so the energy of the spring is enough to launch them to the top! Yeah, Tiny! You can be our pinball. But you might need a little more spring in your step to bounce out of here. We're gonna make you your very own super bouncy... Spring Ball Suit! Ready to launch? Okay, Tiny. It's pinball time. Boom! Full-grown tree. Wow! That's amazing! What do you think, Brad? Now we just need to plant a few more for the other birds and it... Well, that's disappointing. Yeah. This blunder beetle problem might be worse than we thought. Breaking news. The blunder beetle problem is worse than we thought. All over Blunderbird trees are being eaten by these hungry, hungry insects. Mayor Murphy hereby declare a citywide tree emergency! No one can say how this will end. When it comes to the trees, even our city's beloved Fix It Force seems well stumped. Ha! Huh, stumped? You can't be stumped if you've got a plan. We have a plan? Yep. All we have to do is use a little bit of agricultural engineering. Oh! What's that? Agricultural engineering. It's a special kind of engineering to solve problems involving plants and trees and things that grow, like these fast-growing seeds we engineered. Exactly. In this case, we need to use agricultural engineering to stop the beetles, which means we need to find a tree they don't like to eat. Yeah, like a tree that doesn't taste good. None of these trees look like they taste very good to me. Because you're not a blunder beetle, buddy. We need to identify and grow trees that taste bad to the blunder beetles. If Blunderberg is filled with yucky tasting trees, the beetles will leave and all the birds will have homes again. Fix it, Force. Time to start tree testing. Let's see how the blunder beetles like the taste of a simple blunder oak tree. Okay, how about a blunder bloom tree? Aww. Don't worry, we've still got plenty more seeds to try. Let's get planting! Your beak on the street is now your eye in the sky, where I'm checking out the damage being done by those blunder beetles. And folks, it is not a pretty sight. The beetles are sweeping across the city, eating every tree in their path. It's only a matter of time before they eat Blunderberg's most famous tree, Bon Bon Labs. Can the legendary Fix It Force save their own treehouse headquarters? I'm told they are working on a plan right now, but time is not on their side. 
I'm Chico Bonbon, monkey with a tool belt. And we're the Fix-It Force. And that's one big monster. Which means we need a monster-sized serving of ice cream to fill her tummy so she'll never come after our ice cream again. But the Betty and I will never be able to make enough. Then what we need is all the ice cream left in Wonderburg. Operation Ice Cream begins now. Our tastiest mission yet. <laughs> As the ice cream monster continues her rampage, Mayor Murphy has declared a level five ice cream emergency. Citizens of Blunderburg, the Fix-It Force needs your ice cream. Thanks, Mayor. ice cream. We've got to figure out a way to keep the ice cream cold long enough to feed that monster. Yeah, like with a freezer. But it would need to be a monster-sized freezer. A monster-sized freezer? That's a great idea, Clark. Rainbow, set a course to Mrs. Coleslaw's house. Chico, are you sure you want to do this? Remember what happened the last time Fridgy Boo Boo transformed into Fridgebot? Oh, I remember. He went through town, shooting ice cubes at everything. I know, but he's our only hope. Now presenting... Fridgebot 2.0! The perfect ice cream delivery machine, now with ice cream blasted power! Too melty! Oh, just needs a little more insulation to keep all that ice cream cold. And we're good to go. I even loaded up some new ice cream jokes. Why do ice cream cones carry umbrellas? Why? Because there's always a chance of sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is what we call a toaster. Ooh. To make toast, just drop a slice of bread in each slot. Whoa! Slide the switch into the toasting position, wait for the toaster to do its thing, and bada boom, bada bing! Ah, yum, 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 yum! What is it? What's wrong? Perhaps a toaster like this is good for planet Earth, but not for our planet. Why not? Everything on our planet floats in the air. If this toaster were used on Zum Zum, the toast would go bouncing all around the room. Then we need to engineer a toaster that works on your planet. And you know what that means. To, to the, the Space Lab! Lab! Toaster is secure. Bread is loaded. And I've set the Space Lab to make everything float just like planet Zum Zum. Activating now. Bananas! We're floating! Ah, just like home. Toast is coming in three, two, one! Look out! Wow! There is no way this toaster would work on planet Zum Zum! Mm, we need something to stop the toast from popping out and floating away. I think I've got just the thing. Check it out! Huh? Uh, these two clampers, like the one on my mega tool, keep the toast from floating away. I give you the first ever Chico Bon Bon Space Toaster! Ooh, an amazing invention! But how will this hold up against the laser bugs? Laser? Bugs? Oh, yes. Our planet is swarming with them. Behold! Okay, I 
laser bugs. No problemo. There we are. A toaster with clamps to hold the toast in place and a laser bug shield. What do you think? This is very nice. Though I do wonder how this might hold up in one of our planet's goop storms. Goop storms? Okay, well, let's get... Oh, what about the rumble quakes? Oh, and the space yetis? Oh, viper vultures? Well, tornado volcanoes? Okay, this might take a while. All right, yum-yums, what about this? A toaster designed to withstand goop storms, laser bugs, rumble quakes, viper vultures, tornado volcanoes? Don't forget the yeti confetti to scare away the space yetis. Hello? Fix it, Force, we need your help. I know it. I mean, we're on our way. Fix it, Force. Time to roll some dough. Oh, fix it, Force. Thank goodness you're here. We've got so many customers. It's terrible. Uh, isn't having a lot of customers a good thing? Not if we can't keep up with all of the orders. Hey, uh, how long's this pizza Rito gonna take? You've got to help us. Don't worry, the Fix-It Force can solve any problem. I just hope you solve it before people start getting hangry. Hangry? What's that? Hangry. When you feel hungry and angry at the same time. Dr. Merv joins us now to tell us more. Thank you, Neil. My hangry meter shows that everything's all right for now. But if these folks don't eat soon, this neat little line could turn into a grumpy, tummy, rumbly, ziggy, zaggy disaster. A rumbling development. Let's hope we eat soon. All right, to help you solve this problem, let's see how you make pizzeritos from start to finish. Easy. There are three simple steps to making a pizzerito. Observe. Melt the cheese and add it to your crust. Step two, roll it up. But there's nothing in it. That's right, because step three is... Fill it. Jam all the pizza sauce and the veggies and beans in wherever you can. Um, excuse me. Uh, I think I see your problem. Attention! This pizzerito is out of order. <gasps> out of order? Uh-huh. We need to rearrange the steps to make the process faster. You see, right now your order is melt it, roll it, fill it. But what if your order was fill it, roll it, melt it? Oh. Mm. Ah. Step one, fill it. Add some sauce, beans, veggies, and top it off with some unmelted cheese. Yummy. Step two, roll it. Step three, melt it. I don't believe it. An almost finished pizzerito. Almost? We did all three steps. What did we miss? Our final secret step, an ingredient we've perfected over many years. Boop. The right boop adds that personal touch that makes our pizzerito taste mwah. Mm, boop to perfection. There's not nearly enough energy in that tiny battery to power our light show. Oh, we need another energy source, fast. You mean like a generator? A what? A generator. It's a machine that makes electrical energy. How do you know that? My brother Gary has one. Then we better go get it. Fix it, Force. Time to bring back power to the tower. Chico Fun Fun! Rainbow Thunder! So, how do we get this generator working? With energy, of course. When you move the crank, it takes the energy of that movement and turns it into the electrical energy that we need to power the lights. The crank can make electrical energy? That's so cool. Let the cranking begin. Let's see if it's working. Abraca peanuts. Ta -da! <laughs> Chico, it's working! Hey, the lights 
are coming back on! Yeah. Kid, crank, clutch, plugger! Try something else. You're doing great. False alarm, everyone. The lights are still out. But don't worry. I've got more magic tricks. Ta-da! All right. We created electricity, but not enough to power all the lights. Maybe it's because I'm only using my arms. What if we engineered something that could use the energy from my whole body? Wait. Even better idea. Two whole bodies. We run enough, it just might be enough to light up the tower. Tiny, can you be our light checker? Keep a good pace. Come on, keep up a good pace. Ta-da! Oh, oh no, come back, Feather! Tiny, how are we looking? It's working. Keep running. We need to produce more energy. That's good. Oh, that's good. Not good. Oh. Oh. What happened? <gasps> the generator broke. Okay, more magic tricks. Listen, while I'm getting my piano tuned up, can you take care of Bernie? Bernie? Who's Bernie? Oh, he's so cute. But Elkin, watching a dog? That's not normally the type of problem we solve. Oh, but I also need you to figure out what's wrong with Bernie's leash. Whenever we go for walks, he always wiggles loose, and I can't figure out why. A leash that needs a redesign? Now well, that's a fix it for us challenge. What do you say, gang? Up for a little doggy sitting? Oh, 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 you're just the cutest little doggy oh, ever. So Look at that little nose. Yes, you are. <laughs> I think that's a yes. Thanks, Chico. Be back this afternoon. Bye. Kisses. Come on, fix it for us. Let's get up and go for a walk. Chico Fun Bomb, Rainbow Thunder, Lark, Tiny, Bernie. Well, he looks happy enough. And it looks like the leash fits well. Not too tight, not too loose. And you're so cute. Then let's go for a test walk. Maybe the leash fits fine when he's still, but not while he walks. Uh, where's Bernie? Oh, oh, oh bananas! <laughs> Fix it, Force. Follow that dog! I'm Neil Ostrich, your beak on the street. Reporting live from the Museum of Really Fragile Things, full of treasures that are as breakable as they are beautiful, like this little gem. Whoa. Sorry, Neil! Whoa. Nice egg! Spread out! We have to find Bernie! Mr. Dunderhead, there's a dog loose in your construction site. Uh, I think I'd know if there was a dog loose in my site. <laughs> Come back, Bertie! A dog in my construction site? What's next? An ice cream eating alien? <laughs> oh, where could Bernie be? <laughs> oh, Come here, Bernie. you little cutie. <laughs> oh, he must have been thirsty. We've got 400 boxes of silly chili pops to deliver. So step on it, Rainbow. Then hang on to your whiskers. Oh, hey, it's hotter than a hedgehog on a hair curler. Here you go, Herb. I'm so cool and refreshed, I almost don't mind the tumbleweeds. Oh, <laughs> Blistering barnacles, it's hot out here. This'll cool you off, Captain. I'm cool as an Arctic acorn. <laughs> Yard, me ship's still full of holes. 
Chugga chugga, woo woo, it's hot. One silly chili pop chugga chugging your way, Conductor Clyde. All aboard the cool train is what I'll say as soon as I get some more tracks. have cooled everyone off, but now all the used popsicle sticks are everywhere. They're blocking traffic. They're filling up homes. They're even <laughs> sticking up the slides at the playground. Without a doubt, these sticks are the stickiest situation we've ever seen in Blunderburg. Signing off, Whoa! The silly chili pop solved one problem, but caused another. Chico! What are we going to do about all these sticks? Yeah, what are we going to do about all these sticks? We can't have our streets clogged and cluttered with garbage. We can't have that. You can chill, Madam Mayor. We're on it. Hey, guys, what do we do with garbage? Shoot it into space with rainbow rockets. Sweep it under a giant rug. No. And sometimes, but not today. Today we recycle it. Fix it, Force. Time to take out the recycling. Monkey with a tool belt. <gasps> the banana phone. Chico Bonbon, you got a problem? We can solve them.